Hey gang, me again. Uh, so I'm here for part two of the meeting minute templates. And this template is, again, it really helps me always be prepared for a meeting. I keep track of my files a lot better. And really these are the things that just make me like feel put together, prepared. I'm just always naturally prepared for meetings now. It's very minimal effort when I have to get ready for a meeting because it's just already done for me. It's part of my system. So it's just getting constantly populated. It's a copy and paste, it's no big thing. So I'm gonna walk you through how I created a more formal meeting minute template. And again, this is not like super PMP or anything like that, but it gets the job done. In the comments, I'd like to you to let me know what's what are some of the templates that you would like to see or what would you like a template for that you don't currently have or you might be a little bit lost in, in creating the templates so again don't forget to like and subscribe but uh, also this is a little bit more rigorous for a meeting and it's a little bit more complex but it's really trust me you'll be able to figure it out um, and I even let you see like my struggle a little bit so you could see how I bailed myself out when I would get confused because the more you see the more you learn so I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to like and subscribe bye everyone all right so I'm going to walk you through how I would manage kind of my meetings a little bit more formally. So this is a more formal way than the last week's video. So you guys check that one out. But this is really to manage more formal. Again, this might be very cross-functional and again, implementing new processes or with my team maybe. Um, this is not like a PMP level of management, meeting management. But again, it's it's practical. So again, I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. This is how I do it. And it gets me through what I need to do. And this is a practical one that applies a little bit more rigor to it. So this is what we're gonna be creating and I'll walk you through it. This is a little bit more complex than the last one. So, so the last one we talked about was this more simple one. But again, this is more of a more rigorous one and again I switched over to PC now because my Mac was a little bit driving me crazy I have to use a PC I'm a PC girly I don't know what to say <laughs> it's the corporate world now going back so we created this last templates tab so we created this quick links one we created this simpler meeting minute ones or easier one and now we're going to create one with a little bit more rigor so I'm again I'm going to add a page so up here and I'm going to follow that same naming convention. So T and I'll say formal meeting minutes. Okay. Meeting notes, we'll call it. All right. So now if I'm going into this now, again, we want to think columns and rows here. And I like to have a box to contain all my notes because it or all my templates because it creates structure. So when you're copying and pasting, it's just a little bit easier. So we want to think in columns and rows. So if I'm looking at this, let me kind of zoom in here. Doop, doop. All right, so this is one row. See this base back here? This is one row, this is two rows, this is a third row, and this is a fourth row. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my templates tab. Okay, I'm gonna put it like down here. Okay, so I just put it down here just so we can um, not flip between tabs and stuff. Okay, so going back to it, it's columns, it's rows and columns, rows and columns, just things rows and columns. That's all we need to think about. So first we are going to count how many um, rows we have. So this is one row, this is a second row, and this is a third row, and this is a fourth row. So I'm looking at this outer line here. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go and remember, I always keep it at 100% when I'm building out my templates. So I can just see everything on one page and not scroll. Okay, so I'm going to insert four rows, I said. And we can always add some later on. Okay, so look, it's fine. All right, so now we're going to enter, there's two rows. And for some reason, I can't figure out how to get it to do the first row first and the second row second. So I'm going to start with the second row. This is what I do. So now if you look at this, it's one row and two columns. So I'm going to do insert a new table and a two by one. So I'm going to go objective and then this is a, a template. So I'm going to put those little bars 
meeting objective. And I'm going to give the meeting objective the most space because you might have to like type a paragraph or something. So I stretched that out. All right. So I clicked on in front of the O and then I hit enter. And now I'm going to do the table above. I swear. I don't know why it does that, but it just does it. Sometimes I enter above, sometimes I enter below. I can't figure it out. So, all right, next one, we're going to do this first header here. So this is seven actual columns. So it's one row, see it's gray, and then seven columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to go insert a table one by seven. All right, so I'm going to go meeting name, and then we're going to go, what did I mess? Oh, I screwed it up here. Hold on. That's okay. Uh, we'll just add another column. This is a good example. So this is going to be location, location. Okay. So I actually meant to put project name here, but this is a good lesson. So I'm just going to add a, a, another column here. Uh, so I just right click table and then insert column to the right. See a little column and then right. So then I'll put location name. All right, so I'm going to give a lot of room for meeting name. I guess I'm going to put the date there. That's probably not the best project meeting. Okay, and then the date's fine for spacage. And then location name might need some space. So we'll do a little bit more time. And date. So I want it to be one, one row. All right, so we're going to do all the pretty stuff last. Okay, so the next one... We did this and this, and now we are going to do meeting notes. So this is like a new section. So I'm going to call it meeting notes. And this is just like a header. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make it bold. And I'm just going to center it. Okay. And then this one here. So if you see this fourth column, right, one, two, oh, the third column, actually, I have another table in there, and it's a two rows by three columns. So now under meeting notes, I'm going to enter a new table and it's going to be three wide by two down. So see, one, two, three columns and there are two rows. So now again, I'm going to put agendas, usually not that long. And then the next one is open action items. And you might have a link to an action plan or something like that, which you could put the links here. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, and then decisions. So I'm just going to allow for the most room for the action items and the decisions. So I'm just going to give those the most space. Yep. Okay. All right. So agenda, open action, and decision. So, you know, feel free to figure out what the elements are for your meetings, but these are generally the things that were always in topic. Uh, agenda, what are we going to talk about? The action items, and then decisions. So again, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add agenda, and then I'm going to go action, items, and then um, decisions. Okay. And then... I like to do the one, two, three because it keeps track of it. So when I'm writing the notes, I can do the same logic. Oh, actually, let me fix that. Oopsie. Okay. So see, then I can say for topic one, this was the discussion points. Topic two, this was because I don't want to keep retyping the same thing over and over. So again, I'm just going to throw these in topic one, two, three as just the default and type over it. Um, all right. So I'm going to insert the number bullet and I'm going to go topic one enter topic two enter topic three enter well actually i won't enter and then it's going to be the same thing copy paste and i'm going to say action item one and then the same thing here okay so if you have like a project management software or you keep formal action plans or you collaborate in which we do so you could actually just put the hyperlink right here you can copy and paste the link to the web page or the tool or whatever you're using so you don't even have to put that you can just be in the meeting and click on the hyperlink all right um and then so now we're doing this next row here this um discussion this is where like the notes take place in the meeting so i would put discussion points and then just for the sake of it, I'm going to just go copy and paste these. Oops. And I'll have, I don't know why it's doing that. I can, 
I don't know why it's doing that, but um, oopsie discussion points. All right. So sometimes like when you hit enter, sometimes it'll go to the next one. Sometimes it won't. So I will just go and copy from above and then paste it in and then it does it. I don't know why, but this is actually good. So you can just learn how to do things too. <laughs> so I'll see how, like, I want this to be outdented and then this to be indented or I don't know if outdented is even a word. So I'd go open, I'd go home and then I would just do indent and it'll fix it. So I'll make discussion points bold. And then I'm just going to say, you know, discussion point. And then I'll do supporting topic or supporting point, supporting point. And I'm just going to do the same thing. So, and then I just kind of go in and update them. So these are just the templates. So when you copy and paste, this is going to just be and you can delete this row too. Okay, so see how there's a row here? You can right click table and delete, oh, oopsie. So you can right click table and then delete row and then it'll get rid of it. Okay, so let's just kinda, now we wanna make them colored like the highlights. So again, I want it 100% and my header rows always are dark. This is just how my brain thinks again. And this is dark. And then these are like sub points, so I make them just a shade lighter. And then I'm just gonna make the things, the, the edit, the highlights, or the elements of the meeting, I'm just gonna make them dark, bold. So you copy over them, copy over them, and you just put, you know, bold. I'm using a keyboard shortcut, but uh, it's like Alt B, but you can do, you know, bold up here just like regular Microsoft stuff. And then, yeah, so that's how I would do it. And then let me see, I'm gonna get rid of the one we copied and pasted in there just cause. All right, so now this is again, the, the meeting template, the more formal meeting template, template. And so now all I have to do is say, I'm starting up a new meeting of like a new notebook project. XYZ and I want to create um, you know the meeting notes for projects XYZ I want to say and you see it over here um, so now I'd go to my templates and I'd either pick this one or this one so I just want this one so I'm going to copy it highlight it copy it and then I'm just going to put it here and then it's ready to go and I'll update it. This is like the start of the projects. And then every time there's a meeting, I'll just copy the template over. So I'll go back and I'll highlight it and then I'll go back and I'll just kind of either go below or above. I always like to have the, the same ones, but so I always like the latest on top. So I would click here, hit enter and twice. So it comes out of its own. See how it's still in the same cell. This is really not a big deal to be completely honest with you. And then I would just go paste and this would be like last week's and then this would be this week's. So that's how I'd run it. And I would link any things or full project folders, whatever, I would put them all right here. So you can just click on them and then you'll have your open action items and you're ready to go. So no big deal there. All right, so this is a more formal project meeting. So don't check, don't forget to check out the other video where it was just a more simpler way of like do, managing running meetings or um, like a simple way of keeping project notes. Uh, so this makes it so I don't have the a notebook all the time and I have access to them wherever I am because I'm on the road a lot. So that's kind of why I like to have more of a portable productivity system. So thanks for watching everyone. Let me know how you would use this or what elements that I'm missing that you would like to see in this. All right, thanks for watching everyone, bye.